Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage with another live demonstration. Today it's on wiring. So I've got Ryan here, product manager, and our wiring guru. And uh, he's going to demonstrate some new solderless connectors and some new crimping tools. If you have any questions, as always, everybody's favorite lead tech advisor is right here. Just type in your questions. He's going to answer them. Come on everybody, give it up for Scotty C. Yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, let your fans, let your fans breathe it in. Finish cheering for you, Scott. Hey, so we're on uh, Facebook, on YouTube. Want to make it interactive. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them. I can get it taken care of. I can shoot them over, and we can answer them live. So let's see what we have today on tap. All right. So yeah, again, if you have any questions, type them in. Uh, Scott's going to answer them. He might even throw them over here to Ryan, and uh, <laughs> Ryan can uh, go through them uh, during the live video. And we're also going to show you some new channel lock products. So if you want to see some cool quality channel lock tools, we're going to. I'll uh, show you some of them as well. But Ryan, uh, let's get started. What do we got going today? So we've got the solder rose connector set over here. And we've got the weather, the weather tight connector here over in front of Randy. Basically, the, uh, these two tools are I mean, a, a, a real necessity when you're uh, you know, buying some old cars that we like to get and restore and everything like that. Uh, especially like the truck that I have, the wiring harness is an absolute mess on. Uh, so I've, I've been very excited for this kit over here on the right, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But if we want to uh, get started here, I made kind of a little board here of your, you know, Typical four failures, as I like to call them, with final cars. The old wire nut. I mean, there's at least one of these on every uh, every car out there that uh, is being restored. You know, a bad a bad solder job. You know, just putting uh, just twisting it together and putting electric tape on it. And you know, the and of course the old solder is connected with the. Uh, the crimping tools that like to actually break through this plastic in some cases. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to, you know, fix these problems um, with our with our new weather tight setup here and also the the solder rose kit here. So I've got my wire back here in the back. I just uh -oh. I just dropped a couple of the pieces. That's no good. So what we'll do here is I have just have a regular piece of uh, you know any wire that you would use in a vehicle. Um, similar to you know solder rose connectors you ha you're, you're already using at home with the, uh, the the crimping set, you know sh strip it back, grab your connector. And this kit over here comes with your butt connector. Right, it's a 550 piece kit. It's got the it's got the crimping pliers and it's got the wire ties in. It's got the electric tape. So afterwards you can wrap it up and try to keep it as uh, um, weather tight as, as you can. Real simple and easy to use. Color coded for your normal you know your normal actual crimping. Uh, Solder rose ends. You get your yellow, your blue, and your red. The, the benefit of this crimping tool is it's got the ratcheting feature in it. Is it crimps harder and flatter and better than a lot of what you see out there on the market now? So what I'll do here quick is just kind of put this in here, close it down just a little bit. Everything's ready to go. And it's going to do your common 16 to 22 gauge red, mm -hmm. 14 to 16 blue, and 10 to 12 yellow. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So you, uh, everything's in there. Real quick, squeeze it. It's done. Nice and uniform, the, uh, the actual crimp itself compared mm -hmm. to if you're looking down here where, you know, this was to get this to actually uh, to crimp well, you had to really squeeze it and mar it up. This actually looks clean, it's flat, and actually in, in testing we found that we've gotten about a 50% increase in pullout force it takes with this, with this connector than, than on the, uh, you know, the, the standard. Uh, Can we get them down there next to each other so mm -hmm. you can really see what you're you talking about? Me down there? Making it hard there on the other. There we go. Yeah, you can see how so a one, good crimp compared to one where you're just mashing the wire. Yeah, so it's way more uniform, better better connection. You're not just grabbing it on one side or the inside of that connector. You're grabbing the whole thing nice and flat across the whole thing. And and this kit basically gives you everything you need, like you, you've shown. Right. But uh, so what happens though? You're doing wiring. You run out of one of the sizes. Standard size standard size connectors. You run down to your local automotive parts store. Um, get whatever you know new connectors that you need that you've run out of or if there's something actually not in the kit You can actually just get another uh, another style that works with any standard size uh, crimp So what I'll do is I'll do one more for you if I can find the right Well, where are you getting connector. going there? We'll see if Scotty Scotty do we have any questions at this time yet? Yeah, right now we're good. They're still just enthralled by what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> as excited as you are Scott Scott loves wiring. It's, yeah, it's a it's a little hobby of his and uh, he was really excited for today's live uh, demonstrating some new wiring techniques mm -hmm. he's probably never even seen. <laughs> so. so just as easy and as fast as that you've got two bullet connectors uh, you know you got the male the female put together real a real nice crimp um, fast easy what a lot of you guys probably have used in the past just with these much better you know quality uh, crimping pliers to uh, actually get the job done better. And they're color-coded so you 
really yeah. can't screw that up. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing a 10 gauge wire, I mean, you, you use the yellow setting, using the, uh, the, the, the gauge wire I've got here, which I think is about 16. Um, going to be a, um, the, the blue setting and even the smallest of wire all the way down to the red. So. so. And right. now, this is the kit I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, Because this is really cool. If Joe can get in here, I'm gonna let Ryan come over and demonstrate this. This is great for um, reproducing factory wiring or if you just want to do a new install, I guess. So it's going to have all these components and uh, it lo it's actually looks really easy to use and Ryan's going to make it look even easier. Yeah. Sure. So we'll swap spots here. Yeah. I'll let you take over. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out of here and I'll work on this board here. I don't know if probably we'll switch over to Joe so we can kind of get uh, nice and tight in here, see what we're really doing. Um, what we'll do here is I will cut all this stuff out. We're going to wire this. So we're going to take four wires and combine, and right. combine them like in a, yeah. in a harness kind of We're going to wire this the right way. Say, I mean, say this was a harness actually in a vehicle that you had. So everything's all cut out. You can see the old, the, the old bad ways, as I like to call them. This is still one of my favorites. Uh, the, the wire bug has always kind of got me. <laughs> So the process itself is still similar to I mean, the actual solderless connector or anything else. But you want to strip. You want to strip first. All right. Now, is there any amount that you're trying to strip back uh, here? About three sixteenths to uh, about about five or uh, three sixteenths to about three eighths is what the uh, what, what would they recommend to three use? Three sixteenths, really? Yep. That's it? Yep. All you need to do is make just make contact. So I'm using the 12 gauge the uh, weather seal here. What this is is the actual silicone seal itself. I don't know if you can see it. And this it is, is a, it is kind of small. And this, this is, red wire is pretty thick. Yeah. So this is the seal itself that goes in the back to keep you know it keeps all the weather, uh, you know, road debris, anything else out of there. So what you're going to do is just slide that on here first with the bigger wire. It is it is a little bit more difficult. You just get it back, and then you have the wire stick out right there in the front. So you have your weather seal itself on right mm -hmm. now. So next, we grab the correct bag of terminals. And we're grabbing them out of, you see all these bags here, because uh, for this kit we do offer, if you run out. All the replacement kit, or if you're doing an entire harness or something like that, where you're gonna be using I mean, a ton of these, it comes with a lot of connectors right from the start. Yeah. But if you're gonna be doing like a whole harness or something like that, it's gonna take a little bit longer to do. So, so if you do run out, you're just available right here at Easy. Mm -hmm. Correct. So next, what we're going to do is really... Can we see that part? So we joke, maybe get a close-up so we see what we're doing there. Yeah. Where are we? Right there. So what you're going to do is the, the, the back side of the actual connector here will actually sit in the, in the silicone part up here in the front. So what I've been liking to do is kind of just lean it in there, and you have it all ready to go. So it's, it's laying in there where the uh, connector itself is going to grab the silicone, and this is going to grab the, um, the wiring itself. And you get your, your connector plier. Hopefully I'm not too too close in here. And get it in there and give it a squeeze. Gets a little stuck in there sometimes. It gets a lot stuck in there sometimes. There we go. That one didn't come out the best. I've done I've done much better. We'll do better on the next. We'll do better on the we'll next. Do better on the next. Now, yeah. I'll bring this over. So these you get different ones. We showed Joe, right? That go in this plier based on the wire you're using. Right, exactly. So these are the these are the one set of dies, and there is a second set of dies as well for the the smaller gauge wire. Mm -hmm. So now we just do this again on the other side. Right. So what I'll, I'll start doing is running down here and kind of getting these going. All right. Um, well, then while, while 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 you do a, mm -hmm. a couple more, we'll move over and check out some of the okay. We'll move over and check out some of the channel lock products. Already. <clears throat> so over here. Well, before that, maybe I'll check in with Scotty C. Sure, we see do if have we have couple, any questions. A couple questions have come in while uh, while it's going through. So let's see. One of the ones they asked on was the I think it was over on Facebook about the crimpers. If they also have a wire cutter built in. That's a good question. They do not. Okay. They're just uh, just the crimper. And use first mm -hmm. just a crimper. Okay. So that's Correct. A good question that we have. The water. Somebody asked if we had waterproof. That was in the beginning when you were first working with the crimper. Mm -hmm. um, and as of right now, Ryan's actually working with the one that is a weather pack one to be able to stop it and make it that weather resistant. Uh, so we have all of that. And um, let's see. Jesse also asked. If we can say hi to his son, Jaden. So I figured, why not? We'll say hi to Jaden. You like to watch our videos. So uh, hope you're tuning in on this one for that. At this point, uh, I think we're caught up and uh, we can shoot back over to Randy who's going to show some of the new tools. 
All right, so uh, just before we move over here with Joe, these are the kit he was talking about that are the uh, weather pack kit that is uh, resistant. So another advantage of that kit. All right, so over here, channel lock. <clears throat> As uh, many of you know, we've offered channel lock products for a long time. We've just brought some of the ones back we used to offer, and we've brought in a lot of new ones. And cool thing about channel lock, made right here in the USA. In fact, they're made uh, in Pennsylvania. Uh, so uh, they're somewhat nearby to uh, Eastwood. So um, all kinds of products, uh, tinner snips, various sizes, um, small ones will cut 24 gauge, all the way up to the big ones, which are going to cut 20 gauge. So if you're looking for tinner snips, they're right here at Eastwood, as well as some of your standard. We've got the needle nose pliers, side cutters, again, high quality. I'm sure uh, you're all familiar with channel lock. Uh, here's something that's great, uh, the cable cutters. Now. Uh, if you've never seen these, they're sort of like a very heavy duty wire cutter and these are going to cut up to 532nd uh, rod. So uh, they're great to have around when you need to cut something, cut something heavier. Uh, you'll end up using those a lot. And all kinds of aviation snips. We've got your standard right here, uh, your standard left, left and right cut, which I'm sure many of you have. And if you don't have these, this is something you definitely need in your toolbox if you're working on cars, doing any kind of metal work. Uh, even if you've got tools for cutting long pieces of metal, these are always great for doing your finishing work or for even just rounding off corners. And the nice thing about all this packaging you're going to see is that the uh, way Channel Lock does it is, is uh, green is right cut and red is left cut, but they also label it here. And they're also actually labeling it so you can see uh, right here how tight of a cut. So this is going to cut straight and cut to the right. So I'm going to bring another one right back up here. So these are the offset snips. And as you can see, it's labeled. So you can see it'll cut even harder to the right. So this one's going to cut like the other one and also cut a little harder uh, because of the offset design. So uh, like, great to have around. Um, great, great to have in your toolbox. If you're looking for a gift, stuff like this is always great to have. But we also offer, you know, we also have the straight, the snub nose. But um, here's ones uh, that are just uh, new to me even. Uh, these, uh, these upright left and upright uh, right cut and as you can see they're actually designed for if you're cutting like say up above and maybe in a, in a roof or if you're cutting down below on a floor uh, this this design are we, are we calling it a parrot nose design or what were we calling these it's a real a, that's a real tight it's just you know, a cut you know in a real tight location kind of designed to yeah. get, in, get into those locations and these will cut as you can see these actually cut uh, really tight you know, this is actually telling you know if you're cutting up or if you're cutting uh, down below. So, really, uh, really cool tool. Come, come in very handy at times, I'm sure. And um, just their standard tongue and groove pliers. We've got all kinds of sizes from the really, really large ones all the way down to the small ones. Uh, right here, little five inch ones, which if you're using these, you probably are doing a lot of cussing because that means you can't get a real tool in there or maybe even your hand. And here's something. Uh, these nut busters right here, this, this design, it's great for, uh, it's designed specifically for like rounded off uh, fasteners, nuts, and bolts. So uh, if you have one that you can't get off, this is something you may want to consider. Or if you're a guy who goes to the junkyard a lot, that's great to have in your, in your little tool bag. So when you're trying to get stuff undone, you don't have the bolts rounded off, you can't get the socket, you can't get the wrench on it anymore. Uh, that's the one you're going to want. So if you're into some channel lock products, uh, you know, make sure you check out eastwood.com, see everything that's new. We're always bringing in new tools that's going to help our uh, customers out. So make sure you go to Eastwood and maybe we'll check in with Scotty C again, see if we have any additional questions. Sure. Uh, one of the ones that did come through was the crimpers. This is for Ryan to see if the pressure that they put is adjustable or is it preset into them? That's a good question as well. The, uh, the pressure is adjustable. What I can do is I can show you right here on the side of the tool is a set screw and the actual the, the, uh, has the ability to be turned the pressure up and up and down on there. Uh, they're preset from the factory, so you shouldn't have to change anything around, but if you're doing maybe some different um, different connectors that aren't available, I know there's some uh, much harder uh, connectors out there that you can, you can purchase, you might need a little bit more pressure. Wouldn't recommend changing the pressure on these if you're working with what we have in the kit. Everything's all set up for where it needs to be. So uh, for, for those of us just, if, if you're just joining us, mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can demonstrate. We've got a couple more. We've got, what, four more to do here, quick? Right. 
Um, I, I was going to I was going to move on to this connector oh. here. Um, it's it's taken longer I think than uh, than I originally thought to do all four of these. So I can kind of I can throw one of these connectors on there quick, and maybe I can throw uh, do two more of these if you want to recap some yeah. more on those. So uh, I've got the the two connectors here. So he's got all four of these done. Yep, got the male and the male and the female. Um, I can show you guys how this goes in there. So obviously we have two different gauge wires here. We have a large gauge and a, and a small gauge. Real quick and easy, it just, it just snaps into place. Close, close up the back of it to lock it in, and that connector is done. Same thing on so this it's side. So easy to get the, the mail in. Yep, same thing on this side. You push the connector into place. That one's being a little bit of a pain with the and close that down. Same thing. It's all ready to go. Now I gave myself enough in the back here to be able to pull this through. And now, instead of having the what we had here prior was the wire nut and the uh, the bad solder job. This one killed me. I, I I actually am a pretty good solder, and this one was actually hard to make a bad solder. So I'm happy to cut that one out. I know uh, I'm perfect at most of the stuff I do. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to be unperfecter. Yep. So real, real quick, easy way to you know improve your harness, better connections. You know you won't have any uh, you know, anything shorting on you, things like that. Um, great, great kit on both sides, the solderless side uh, for those you know, get a better crimp with the solderless connector, and then also here on the uh, the weather pack side over here where you can redo an entire harness. Uh, I know Cody's working on a uh, a dirt bike right now. I have my own truck with my own wiring harness problems. Um, a yeah. great tool to that that kit just looks great yep and so. it looks it's so easy to use well thanks a lot i guess before yeah. we get out of here maybe we should go back to scott to see if he's got any more any more questions for us we have one more quick question i don't know if you have the tool part over there um does that tool actually come with the remover so you get the pin back out of the connector again yes it does actually oh so would you like to demo said tool because that yeah. is the actual question to see if we can demo it yeah scott you, you're getting this is getting more exciting all the time for you isn't it yeah man it's <laughs> keeping me awake i'm still trying to go, recuperate go, go. from being at bloomsburg all all weekend it's not not the video oh right? yeah you were at the uh, car yeah, we were at the uh four-wheel jamboree i was there from thursday through to sunday and got home late last night but it was a really good time good to see the trucks and uh you know get us out there so people can see what we can do mingle with the, mingle with your fans exactly all right so we're going to demonstrate uh Per Scott's request, yeah. the tool to remove everything. I did forget about that. This is the actual the removal tool itself. So, so say you hand. say you you know you, you put a uh, you, you make this wiring harness and you decide later you wanted a, you know a three a three bay connector or something like that. Real simple and easy way to take it off is once you pop this up from the back, the actual lock plate in the back, everything's ready to go. You take your tool itself, slide it down inside. I've now released it and it comes right back out. Oh, wow, that's pretty slick. Just that, just that quick and easy. Same thing on this side here. Push it down, it popped, and it's, it, it's back off. So just, just that quick, you can actually move the connectors themselves around. Uh, say you wire it wrong. Say you, like I said, you want to change it around and put a different, different, a different end on it. Just that quick, we're back together. And just that quick, we're reassembled. Awesome. So keep an eye out for this kit. You know, we'll be using it some more on some, uh, some projects down the road to show you what you really can, really can do. We'll get some pictures up on the web for you guys to see um, what, 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 it, what it can do. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Ryan. Mm -hmm. We're going to catch you again next month. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we've got to come up with another live. And yeah. for everybody out there, don't forget to join us every morning at 830 for our daily deal and every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern time for uh, new products and product demonstrations. All right. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you.